What's going on, carnalitos? So I got a little free time here. It's a little rainy, so there's no work going on. Um, but I'm outside of the Superior Court building in Chatsworth. I came here to support my son. He's got some child custody case going on with his daughter. Um, and I, I'm taking that as an opportunity to speak about about stepchildren and just children in general. Uh, I came into Anthony's life when he was about nine years old. Anthony's about to be 30 now. And it took a couple years and, you know, lo and behold, he instead of becoming my stepson, I consider the boy my son, just like my wife considers my daughter um, her daughter. It's it's something that, it's it doesn't come easy. It, it, like anything in life, and I always tell you guys, it, it takes work, you know? When we first got together, I was fresh out of YA for the third time. I'm on parole and I gotta take care of business and and I gotta start working. His his dad was already in the joint and he actually got out. He did about, I think like about 23 years in the joint. He was uh, my ex homeboy. He's deported now and um, the relationship they have, like I even told Anthony when he was growing up, I said, listen brother, the best thing you're gonna have with your dad if you're lucky is you might be friends. And I don't even know if that's the case right now. I think they barely, rarely speak. Anyhow, as far as kids go, it's it's tough enough raising your own kid and, and unfortunately too many of us men just have the kids and after that we bail man we're we're around and i even tell him man that's not all day long hey homeboy don't be a mijo dad man and that's that's a term I, I call these guys the mijo dad there's these guys and not that anthony's going out of jail but you know there's these there's these vatos come out to join and hey mijo i love you mijo come here mijo oh yeah i love you i love you uh maybe that's for one day after that you don't see the motherfucker for another month or so the mom is, isn't getting any money for for diapers for school for clothes for shoes for food these kids cost money guys this shit ain't free man you know at least we're here being proactive and trying to get this custody situation handled. A lot of a lot of guys get that paperwork and just dismiss it. It's like if you had a car and you and your girl both put the down payment for the car, but took care of that car, you're not gonna let her take it just like that. You know, that's that's just a, that's just a, a material item. So how are you gonna let them take your your son or daughter from you like that? How are you gonna give up your rights as a man? to your child that's that's not being a man man that that's being a coward that's being scared to be able to take take care of a kid we're, we're so quick to want to take care of the hood and want to take care of even some bitch or something but you know your kids man those are your fucking kids that's your blood man that's your future if you guys don't take care of your kids you know I, no nobody else will you know it's it's very difficult getting into a relationship with someone with kids but nowadays everybody has kids you know so if you're not if if first of all if you're not willing to raise your own kids man people be careful how they raise your your, your kids because there's so many times that girls get with these guys and there's red flags everywhere man this guy has three or four kids and he's not taking care of them you really think he's gonna take care of yours man you got something coming you know anyways when it when it comes to step families it is something that's very difficult takes years even even family members now that let's say a wife and a husband are together the wife always seems to think especially when it comes to boys that the guy the husband is being too tough on the son now imagine how that's gonna that, that would change if that's not your real blood son which was my case my wife a lot of times would sit there and, and think that i was being too tough on anthony but i was the same with my daughter I, that's just the personality i am and, and I know that if you're too soft on kids and you let them run amok, man, they're going to walk all over you and then you're going to lose complete control. And that's one thing you don't want to. You, you need to show them that, that discipline. You need to be strict with them. You need to know where they're at. You need to know what's going on. You need to be involved in their lives. And if you're not involved in their lives, somebody else will. Somebody like me back in the days will. Somebody like me back in the days will fucking... Uh, or, or sit there and talk a good one about the hood. Next thing you know, this guy's a gangbanger. This guy's a dope dealer. Your girl's a stripper. I mean, all kind of fucked up shit happens. The more we are involved in our children's life, the better their life will come out to be. It's plain and simple. And like I said, I'm not talking about the mijo dads. All you fucking mijo dads, go be a mijo somewhere else. I'm talking to the real men who are out there doing that nine to five, working every day, 
you know, struggling to make ends meet, but still, still making time for that kid, still making time for your daughter, still making time for your, for your son. You need to make that time for your son. You need to make that time for, and you need to spend quality time with these kids, and you need to know what's going on with these kids. You know, if if you don't want to do it, then don't have fucking kids, man. It's plain and simple. Don't have fucking kids. You know, stop having all these kids and not being able to take care of them. Stop calling yourself a man when you act like a little fucking boy. You know, real men take care of theirs. I'm not, saying, I'm not talking about a buy them a house, you got to buy them a car. I'm talking about you just got to be there and take care of them, man. You know, that's the message of the day because I'm here at the Superior Court uh, dealing with the child custody thing. Um, everything will be all right. It works out. It's, it's part of the deal, man. It's just part of the deal. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll put another video up later on today. Uh, you guys have a great day. Bye.